Endurance is having a sound mind in the midst of obstacles. Endurance is having a sound mind in the midst of obstacles. Endurance is having a sound mind in the midst of obstacles. Endurance is fruitfulness despite trials. Endurance is fruitfulness despite trials. Endurance is productivity in the presence of warfare. Endurance is productivity in the presence of warfare. Endurance is the stillness of your spirit. It's the management of your soul. And it is the restraint of your flesh. In the anointing of endurance, feelings are ignored. In the anointing of endurance, emotions are mentored. You ever heard that before? Learning how to mentor your emotions. <laughs> Maturity is the ability to learn how to mentor your emotions. Glory to God. Maturity is the ability to mentor your feelings. Your feelings are like children. They have to be trained. Your memory hates your future. So you have to betray your memory to receive your future. Your memory hates your future. So you have to betray your memory to reach your future. Endurance is the celebration of what God wants to do next, not of what Satan did last. Endurance is the celebration of what God wants to do next, not of what Satan did last. Stamina is the graduation stage of loyalty to God. Stamina is the graduation stage of submission. Stamina is perfected through joy. Stamina is a spiritual weapon that removes double-mindedness. Stamina is when you're quickened by the word. Stamina. Divine stamina is given to those that seek God's wisdom. Fatigue can remove your ability to move in wisdom. Or wisdom can remove your ability to move in fatigue. I'm going to say this one more time. Now I'm freestyling all this. This is in my soul. Fatigue can move your ability to move in wisdom. Stop your ability to move in wisdom. Or wisdom can stop your ability to move in fatigue. Pain makes you drained. And power makes you sustain. You're taking notes, write that down. Remember that. And don't you like how I tell you to take notes and I don't take notes? That's the only hypocrisy I carry. I have 10% of me that's a hypocrite. And the 10% of me that's a hypocrite is the part that tells you to take notes and I don't take notes. <laughs> so I am a hypocrite 10%. Tide, tide. Tired, tired. I ain't say tired like you washing your clothes with some dish with, with some detergent. I said tired with a th, a th. Stamina is the fruit of having Word of God meditation. Stamina is the fruit of having Word of God meditation. Stamina. Divine stamina removes the presence of negativity from your mind. Divine stamina is invented 
through sanctification. Divine stamina is invented through sanctification. Sanctification is the ability to escape wrong voices. <laughs> sanctification is the hatred for Pharaoh's voice. I have a library in my head. I read books in my mind. Sanctification is the hatred for Pharaoh's voice. Pharaoh is the Judas of your liberty. You ever heard that before? You never heard that before. Father, I never heard that before. Pharaoh is the Judas of your liberty. Pharaoh is the Judas of your liberty. And let me say this. Worship is the Moses of your freedom. Worship is the Moses of your freedom. Worship is a Mosaic covenant. Worship is a Mosaic covenant. Worship is a Mosaic covenant. You have to discern in your life when you're in the Aaron realm and you're in the Moses realm. There will be seasons of your life where you will switch from the Aaron realm to the Moses realm and you'll switch from the Moses realm to the Aaron realm. But the seasons where you switch from the Moses to the Aaron is where you start Aaron. You abase yourself. When you switch to Aaron to Moses, you grace yourself. One is a grace, one is a base. You should always strive for the Mosaic covenant in your focus, your worship, your consistency, your honor. The word of God said that Moses was the most humblest man in all the earth. So the Mosaic covenant is a covenant of humility. The Mosaic covenant is perfected surrender. The Mosaic Covenant is is uh, is um, extravagant excellence. The Mosaic realm is the ability to be led by the Spirit. The Mosaic Covenant. The Mosaic Covenant. So when Jesus, before he even died, he encountered the Mosaic Covenant on the Mount of Transfiguration. Before Jesus fulfills his assignment, he has to have an encounter with the Mosaic Covenant. The Mosaic Covenant has to be confronted by him. So, Moses and Elijah are two figures. that did not finish their earthly assignment because of people. Their responses to people. Glory to God. Moses struck the rock. Elijah ran from Jezebel, prayed to die. Both were people-driven failures. So Jesus comes on the scene and is speaking to both of them. And he fulfills the law of the prophets. Now you know why Jesus said, I have come to fulfill the law of the prophets. Because the fulfilling means that they did not finish. But he took all the covenants. All What are covenants? The anointing is a covenant. 
The power of God is a covenant. So he took all their covenants, the power that they carried, and he fulfilled it. So that's why when Jesus said, if this be your will, take the cup from me. It was also what Moses and Elijah did. They asked the Lord, basically, through their actions, to take the cup away from them. To take the responsibility away from them. Oh my God. To take... what he put on their plate away from them. So Jesus was playing out where they missed. And then he said, not my will, your will be done. He drunk the cup. 